A statement, rock LDLC right here at the start, because LDLC are coming into the second half ultra confident. I mean, they had a near flawless first half here versus Fnatic. They have a great lead, a great head start going in here. Fnatic have to put them down hard. Looking confused and dazed, and it's going to be a follow-up headshot on a voice bro. You've got to be kidding me. Takes down Kirishima as well. Do you hate not having good enough aim to use the op? Do you love other noobish weapons like the Keck 9? Were you one of those faggots that used the M14 ACOG in Modern Warfare 2? Then fear not, the auto sniper is for you. First, let's go over some basic statistics of the weapon. The auto sniper holds 20 rounds of some of the highest quality, handcrafted bullets made of pure silver collected from the average silver matchmaking game. The auto sniper has practically zero recoil, so you should feel right at home if you're coming from Call of Duty. The auto sniper has one of the fastest reloads in the game, which is probably unbalanced for the fact that the gun can have a really high impact, while a shitty meme gun takes ages to reload. The zoom on the scope isn't as powerful as the ops, but it's still strong enough to see the angry facial expressions of the enemies as you kill them. <laughs> the damage output on the auto is FUCKING KILL YOURSELF FAGGOT, which roughly translates into enough to solo hold B-Sight and Ace, and still have half a magazine remaining. The Auto Sniper costs $5,000, making it one of the most expensive guns. The price difference between the Auto and the Op is about $300, meaning you could probably buy the Op in something useful like a smoke and a flash, but we all know you aren't going to use strats, you goddamn silver! Now, let's look into some gameplay tactics of the Auto Sniper. Unlike some guns like the fucking 5.7 and the Keck 9, you should actually be quite careful when buying this weapon, so let's look over some do's and don'ts of when to buy the Auto Sniper. Do full save since round 1 to buy it on CT side dust 2, and buy 5 autos at the same time. Now some don'ts to using this weapon is, buy it on T side when you're winning. Literally, whatever you do, do not buy it on T side when you're winning, because if you die on T side when you have an auto sniper, all you're doing is taking the nice little lead that you had, wrapping it up in a nice little package, and handing it over to the CT team. You will lose, don't do it! Using the auto sniper does require some tactics to use it. So make sure to spam through smokes to make the attacking T's shit their pants when rushing to sight, and go for wall bangs whenever possible. And generally, just spam the fucking thing. Look how much goddamn ammo you have! You could use this gun for the entire game and still not run out of ammo. So by now, the air team is probably calling you a faggot, no skilled auto noob, fucking silver trash, when ironically both of you are silver. So your best bet to counter this is to try to tilt them even further. This includes things like spraying the remainder of your magazine into them when you kill them, and telling them that the auto isn't shit, he is. Just buy an op and out peek you, it's not that hard. Oh wait, you need aim for that. So, that's all there is to using the auto sniper. Tune in next time as I teach you how to use the pocket AK-47, and remember, who cares if they call you a noob for using the auto? You're gonna be the one ranking up, not them.